Hi everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I hope everybody's all right today. It's Wednesday, November 8th. Currently it's 61 degrees. You believe it's going to be 76 today? And just had to have that cold spell that killed all my okra. I would have had more, lots more okra the way that thing was going, the way all they were growing still. And uh, would have had more peppers and everything, but same thing happened last year we had a, a real cold spell early and it, it killed everything you know and i didn't even cover up i thought maybe my uh the fall and winter vegetables that i grow they're supposed to be able to withstand you know so so much cold i mean some of them you can get down to like 15 degrees and those they'll be all right but um last year it killed everything and it wasn't even that it, it, I forget how cold it got, but it wasn't you know nowhere near what it they should have been able to withstand. So this year I, I covered them up and it kind of has smashed a few of them, but they're still they're still growing. Uh, some of the turnips are about that big. I mean they're edible right now, but I, I'm gonna let them get as big as possible uh, and everything. So at least I still have something out there. Uh, that comet Suna is really good stuff. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen it for sale at a supermarket or grocery store. I don't think I've ever seen it in the produce. Uh, I've never really looked for it, but I, you know, I look at the greens and stuff lots of times. And uh, Anyway, it's really good. It is really good. Uh, it's like a cross between mustard and uh, spinach. Yeah, And I've got some spinach growing, but a lot, a lot of them were either dug up by the squirrels or... Um, they just didn't germinate so i won't have but so much spinach but the lettuce it looks like i'm gonna have a good amount if it has time enough to grow and the turnips look good too so anyway uh today there's going to be a cook with me video million dollar chicken casserole everybody uh you definitely check it out that stuff is fantastic oh my goodness um i've been wanting to make a chicken a new chicken recipe and uh, I picked that, well, we picked that one out. I've got several others in mind, and uh, one of them called for um, bacon, like seven slices of bacon or something like that, and uh, you crumble it up, though. But um, I, I wanted to use real bacon. I mean, bacon bits are real bacon, but they're just not, you know, the same. Um, so I'll probably be making one. That one has, like, potatoes, cheese, bacon, I forget what all stuff in it. Uh, something else I can't remember what I'll pick. Oh, uh, no, that's uh, then I got another one I'm wanting to do, uh, and it's got uh, it's a broccoli casserole, but it's French onion broccoli casserole. You use French onion dip in it. It just sounds really good. Um, that would have to be. I don't know if I, I would what I would have with that. It might not even have any meat with it. It's kind of like a casserole in a way, so I don't know, you know, may not even have any meat with that one. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to try, you know, if I if I have time to do it and everything it works out, I'll do it. I'm going to try to start doing more cooking videos, if, if possible. Uh, okay, so, um, so what's for dinner? Uh, I'm going to make that homemade pizza. That's the plan so far, that one with the bobbly crust and some salad. I'm sure it's going to be good. I've got some uh, some fresh mushrooms, which I like fresh mushrooms. I don't like the ones out of a can. They're mushy, like, you know, they're not the same. Um, the only thing I use mushrooms in a can for is, is in brown, when I make uh, brown gravy with mushroom, uh, like in my, um, my uh, what is it, cube steak. When I make my cube steak in the crock pot, oh gosh, that stuff's good. Okay, uh, let's do some jokes. Did I even say the temp? I just said the temperature was 61, high 76. Yeah, still no rain. There's a chance of rain, I think tomorrow and Friday, but knowing our luck, it probably won't even rain. And winds are at four mile per hour right now. Okay, jokes of the day. This one's called Kids Food. 
My kids are so open to experiencing culture. They'll try anything from chicken tenders at an Indian restaurant to chicken tenders at a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> so that's all they want is chicken tenders. Um, I, I, I We never go hardly. We haven't been in, I don't know how long, besides Taco Bell to a Mexican restaurant, but we've got a good local one, um, Amigos, I think it's called. And that one is just, they have great food, but it's expensive. It really is. Okay, this one's called, Does He Have a Brother? Two guys are driving in the countryside. One says, Tiger Wood, isn't he famous or something? Yeah, I think he plays golf or something. Does he have a brother named Fire who's in jail? I don't know. Why? I just saw a sign that read, Free Fire Wood. <laughs> Free Fire Wood. Okay, this one is fact of the day, floating penguins. A group of penguins on land can be referred to as a colony or a rookery. Did you know that a group of penguins in water have a different name? Oh yeah, they do. A group of floating penguins in the ocean are referred to as a raft. <laughs> I don't know, I never heard of that before. Okay, now I'm going to see, I'm going to pick one of these trivias out. Okay, I found one. I don't know if this is going to be about stuff on TV or what. Uh, what did David Letterman do before becoming a talk show host? Doctor, chef, lawyer, weatherman. I can't see David Letterman being a doctor. <laughs> I mean, it'd be... <coughs> or actually, a chef. <laughs> or a lawyer. <laughs> I'm going to say weatherman. That's right. After graduating from Ball State University with a degree in telecommunications, Letterman tried his hand at television as a wisecracking weatherman in Indianapolis. That would be funny to see him doing that. In 1978, he made the first 20 of 22 appearances on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. The following year, Letterman, who had revered Carson since childhood, serves at, served as a show's guest host. The first of many such appearances. Next question. Which Texas city is home to the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum? Houston, Pasadena, Austin, Waco. Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum. I don't, I, that, I've never heard anything about that. Houston, Pasadena, Austin, Waco. Man. Well, I don't know. Just because Houston's such a big city, maybe. I, but I'm wondering if it'd be something like more Waco. Like, I don't know. Seems like it's more like a Western type feeling to it. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm just going to say Houston. Nope, it's not Houston. So I've missed one. Let's see if Waco was. Waco, it was. And I just, I should have gone with my gut feeling. The Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum in Waco, Texas is the state designated official historical center of the famed Texas Ranger Law Enforcement Agency. Okay. Hmm. Which major U.S. city is home to an iconic walk of fame for movie stars? Los Angeles? New York City, Chicago, Boston. Well, I really don't, I really, um, I really always thought it was in California. You know, I've seen it. I, I can't remember if we actually went to it. Uh, seems like we went there. I was so young. I was about eight, seven, eight years old. My brother was born in California when we lived there. We lived in Menlo Park. My dad worked for the VA hospital. Uh, I'm, so I'm going to say Los Angeles. That's right. Hollywood is a neighborhood in the central region of Los Angeles County, California, mostly within the city of Los Angeles. Its name has come to be a shorthand reference for the U.S. film industry and the people associated with it. The Hollywood Walk of Fame was created in 1958 as a tribute to artists and other significant contributes contributors to the entertainment industry 
Two right, one wrong. Which animated character was the first to get a star on the Walk of Fame? It shows a picture of that Hollywood sign. Which animated character was the first to get a star on the Walk of Fame? Donald Duck, Bugs Bunny, Woody Woodpecker, Mickey Mouse. It seems like I heard something about Donald Duck, but you'd think Mickey uh, would have been, you know, before that. I don't think Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Woody Woodpecker? <laughs> it was funny. Uh, Bugs Bunny. What's up, Doc? Uh, I I'm going to say Mickey Mouse. I, I don't think it was Bugs. It could be Bugs Bunny. But for some reason, I want to say Mickey Mouse. I might miss. Well, I'm right. Mickey Mouse was the first animated character to have a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which was given on his birthday, November 18, in 1978. Mickey Mouse has been a prominent feature at Disney Park since Disneyland Park opened its doors in 1955, with guests interacting with him in character meet and greets, view, uh, viewing him in parades, or snapping up Mickey Mouse merchandise. Three right, one wrong. Who was a host on The Tonight Show from 1992 till 2009? My gosh. Um, you know, I think, I really think David Letterman was, um, was the latest one, you know. Uh, could have been, it wasn't John Stewart, I don't think, or Ryan Seacrest. I know Jay was, um, but it could be backwards. It could be David or, or Jay. I'm, I'm going to say Jay Leno. I could be wrong on this. No, that's right. Jay Leno hosted NBC's The Tonight Show with Jay Leno from 1992. That's a long time till 2009. Leno took over hosting duties from Johnny Carson in May 92 and remained the host of The Tonight Show for 17 years. And then uh, oh, the t David Letterman was on the late night, was on late night with David Letterman before taking over The Tonight Show and the two were engaged in a healthy rivalry. Hmm, okay. Next question. Which of these is a popular pop singer that rose to fame in the 1990s? Britney Spears, Tina Turner, Aretha Franklin, Janis Joplin. Well, it's not Janis Joplin. Uh, She'd she been gone a long time before that, I think. Uh, Aretha's been around for a long time. And so was Tina Turner. So to me, that's going to say Britney Spears. And that's right. As the reigning princess of pop, Britney Spears burst onto the scene in the late 90s and quickly became a global phenomenon. Her catchy tunes, energetic dance routines, and renowned performances captivated audiences around the world. Next question. I'm five right, one wrong. Which Comedy Central show did Stephen Colbert, I think is how you pronounce it, host from 2005 to 2014? Colbert and Friends, Fun and Colbert, Colbert News, The Colbert Report. Mm. I don't think it would be Fun and Colbert or Colbert News. What comedy? A comedy Central. So, at Comedy Central has other people, obviously. So, that would tell me Colbert and Friends. Uh, the Colbert Report could be, but uh, for some reason, since it's Comedy Central, I want to think that they want to acknowledge more than just him, but I could be wrong. Colbert and Friends. Nope. So, I got my second one wrong. I want to say the next guess would have been Colbert Report, and that's what it was. <laughs> Stephen Tyrone Colbert was born May 13, 1964, and is an American comedian, writer, producer, political commentator, actor, and television host. He's best known for hosting the satirical Comedy Central program, The Colbert Report, from 2015 to 2014. 
Five right, two wrong. What was Arnold Schwarzenegger's career before focusing on acting? Bodybuilding, racing, riding, boxing. <laughs> um, it's, it's not, I can't see him, you know, racing. I mean, he could, I'm just saying, you know, before his acting or writing, just as writing. What, what writing what? Writing? Hmm? Boxing. He could have been a boxer. Yeah. I will murder you. <laughs> I, it's bodybuilding. He was, you know, real famous for that. Uh, Schwarzenegger was known as the Styrian Oak or Austrian Oak in the bodybuilding world where he dwarfed his competition. He won his first amateur Mr. Universe title in 1967. Whoa. And it just talks about his, more about his bodybuilding after that. Next question. Who was the first person to host The Tonight Show? And I think I know this. Johnny Carson, Steve Allen, Jack Parr, Ernie Kovacs. Oh my gosh. Um... Johnny Carson wasn't the first one, but I'm tossed between two of these, but I think it's uh, Steve Allen. That's right. The Tonight Show is an American late night talk show that has aired on NBC since 1954. Wow. Uh, the show has been hosted by six comedians, Steve Allen, Jack Parr. That's what I was thinking, but he wasn't the first. He was the second one. Johnny Carson was 62 to 92, 30 years, oh my goodness. Jay Leno, Conan O'Brien, and Jimmy Fallon is pre to the present. Wow, okay. I've got seven right, two wrong. Michael Myers' mask in Halloween is based on which celebrity's face? Oh yeah, I've heard about this, but I, it, Al Pacino, William Shatner, Robert De Niro, Marlon Brando. I don't know if I can do a good imitation of it, but uh, just call me Captain Kirk. <laughs> I can't do a good one. He kind of pauses when he says stuff. Uh, you need to really check this out. <laughs> William Shatner. And I'm right. Pretty much everyone knows the Halloween franchise's connection to Star Trek, con to the Star Trek connection. The mask Michael Myers, the infamous Halloween villain, wears throughout the series, is William Shatner's face. You know, I never think of that though, when I when I watch it. I, now that if I see it again, I'm gonna be thinking, oh my gosh, that's William Shatner. <laughs> okay, it had been rumored for decades that the mask that the killer Michael Myers wore in the Halloween films was in fact based on Shatner's face. Not just his face, but specifically a Captain Kirk death mask created for Star Trek. As it turned out, the anecdote is very true. <laughs> I'd, I'd heard that somewhere a long time ago, but I forgot all about it. And here we just got done watching some of those over Halloween. I just about have to see what the, to see what the, if it looks like his face still. Okay, everybody, I think that's going to be it today for morning coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Definitely watch my cooking video. The more views I get on the cooking videos, that makes me want to do more. So, uh, check it out. I think you'll really, really like this one. And uh, you'll probably want to make it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. And God bless.